What's up, you guys? I'm Nick, and this is Tearfin Crafts. Welcome back YouTube, and if you're new here, welcome to Tearfin Crafts. I know it's been a while since I've posted any actual art related content, or any content for that matter, but I believe I've gotten everything lined back out, and hopefully I'm able to move forward and start being back in the flow of things, producing videos for you guys on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, depending. However... On this episode of What Chaos Can Nick Produce, I'm going to crash a spaceship. More accurately, I'm going to show you guys the process I went through to build, correction, kit bash a ship together to crash. So we're going to go ahead and kick down to the table and check that out. Also, stick around and at the end of the video, I'm going to have some epic news from Tearfin Crafts. I started with a failed print of a YV100 that I found on Colts3D.com done by a maker Lopiv2. After a minor bit of adjustment, I added some plain wheels that came from a model kit that I had gotten from my friends at Reaper Comics. Then I took some tail wings that I thought would look really cool along the back somewhere, but I had to figure out exactly where I wanted them. Eventually I decided that I'd put them along the engines or exhaust ports or whatever you want to call them. And after a minor bit of tooling, uh, ended up gluing them into place and getting them positioned exactly where I wanted them. I had to go back and reposition one of them after the fact, which meant I had to break the glue off and glue it again, but thus is the nature of the beast when it comes to kit bashing. After I finally got everything glued in place, uh, I went looking through some stuff and found this highlighter that I really liked the look of the clip to and the cap to and I thought they would look they would look really good together uh, as kind of a, a nose to the ship. Uh, I looked over the rest of the highlighter to see if there was anything else I could use but there really wasn't anything. So I cleaned up a little bit more of the model that did manage to print and after a little bit of cleanup, I started gluing things together, figuring out exactly how I wanted the two pieces to fit together to make them look the best. After gluing them together, I ended up adding some extra pieces to it. Uh, I don't remember what they, they were meant to be. Uh, I just know that it was one piece all together and I split it in two and cleaned it up to make it look like it would fit. I then added a dragon's tear or whatever it's called, it was a glass bead uh, that I have an entire bag of and after adding it I would mix up some, some green stuff to kind of fill in gaps and blend. And then I took some armature wire and accentuated the cockpit. I took another tail wing and incorporated it underneath that cap. And after adding it and some glue, I had some beads that I decided to turn into extra booster engines. With a little bit more cleanup on green stuff, I took a giant wad of it and added it to the nose. 
uh, after adding it and a little bit of glue, I uh, threw some sprue pieces in there to kind of give some detail. And then I found some wheel chocks that I thought would look really good as air intakes for the side engines of what is no longer a freighter. Now it is a three-person ship. And once they were in place, I ended up moving on and took what I believe were meant to be landing gear and incorporated those on the bottom as like power converters or something of that nature after I had cut a piece of that wing off in order to crash the ship. And then I took some barrels from a World War II D-Day diorama and added those. And once those were added, I would do a little bit more final looks, add a couple more pieces, and then it was done and on to painting. After completing the build, I decided to use a two-in-one gap filler primer in a light gray to go ahead and prime it. Ended up not filming it, but then I went in with a deep sea blue, just basic acrylic that I had mixed with a little bit of alcohol and used it as a base color. I felt like the blue would accentuate the plate metal that I was going to use afterwards to kind of have a, a blue sheen to the metal itself. Once I finally got all of the metal done, I went in with some lava orange for the back fins and some of the accenting points in the front and uh, along the cockpit. Kind of going for a somewhat of a Guardians of the Galaxy paint scheme. To, to an extent. And then I would take some Elven Flesh, I believe is the color of the paint, and I would try and dry brush it in, and there were a couple areas where that didn't exactly work, and I had to kinda remove paint as I went along, but ended up not damaging it way too bad. Uh, once I got done with the dry brushing, I ended up mixing some uh, void shield blue and a little bit of white initially to paint the cockpit and the middles of each of those barrels to make them look like they were glass or something of that nature and then I mixed up a custom brown for the rest of the accenting points that I wanted to look charred and dark and then with a little bit more white in the void shield blue I'd go back over and paint the rest of it. Now, on to the glamour shots. So there you have it guys. Uh, the ship itself ended up taking maybe two, three days to finish building. Uh, in its totality at least. Uh, the build itself, I think I got all of the kit bashing done in one night and then painting and clear coating ended up taking a couple more days. However, as you may notice, new shirt, it is a new day. 
Uh, uh, the editing has taken a little bit longer than I really wanted. But, that being said, the ship itself I ended up building specifically for a diorama that I have been working on on my lives on here and on Facebook. Uh, and, and if you're interested in seeing the rest of that build, definitely come over to the Facebook channel or the Facebook page. Uh, Tearfing Crafts, Handcrafted Arts and Gaming, and, and check out the, the build up to this point of the diorama, and, and then look f out for the other lives that are going to be coming. Uh, I go live on Thursdays, usually around 9.30 to 9.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've been trying to go live a little bit earlier, but it doesn't always work out. So, so definitely look out for that. Uh, as to the news, the epic news that I had said I had uh, for Tearfing Crafts. I and Tearfing Crafts are officially moving in to the world of game development. Uh, very specifically, tabletop game development. Uh, at some point, we may end up branching further into video games or uh, TCGs, things like that. But until then, uh, the game we are working on is meant to be a, not a replacement to, but definitely a, a good companion game to a lot of the tabletop games that are already existent, such as... Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer 40k, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Apocalypse, Heroes Unlimited, Pathfinder. All of these games have a lot of really good aspects to them, but they also have a lot of really distinct flaws, or at least over the course of my tabletop gaming and some of my friends' tabletop gaming, we've noticed a lot of flaws and issues. And so I decided to take the initiative to move forward and develop my own game uh, to, uh, to, to add to the list that would hopefully fix a lot of the flaws and, and incorporate some of the better aspects in, in a new way uh, to tabletop gaming. So going forward from that, I am going to continue to try and post regular content on here. Uh, however... If I end up late on a couple videos, that is the, the likely reason for that because typing takes time. And I don't type as fast as I wish it did. But either way, uh, look out for that whenever we finally do get it into the final stages. Um, if you have enjoyed this video and you enjoy the content that we put on here, uh, definitely check out our other pages. Also, if you like the content here and you would like to help support us, uh, check us out over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Tearfing Crafts, uh, spelled the same as the channel. And, and come check us out there, and I'm still trying to build up the Patreon, but a lot of the stuff that we do, uh, we do try, try to do uh, for a broad audience so if you're not interested in one thing there are other things that we do so definitely come check it out and with that i'm gonna say you guys have a great day and i'll catch you all in the next one